Howdy, 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 everybody. It's bright and early Wednesday morning. It's about 6.30. I just got home from work. Wasn't too bad of a night. Went smoothly for the most part, you know. It's always those surprises, but, you know, that will happen. That's to be expected. Um, I don't know whether I've ever shared with you guys before or not, but I work in long-term care with the elderly, and um, um, what can I say? It can be quite challenging, but it is so rewarding, and it's hilarious at times, yeah. Um, oh, the sweetest people, um, but they can be so bluntly honest, too, at the same time. Um, but, you know, makes life interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Well, anyway, I just started flapping my gums and I didn't even say anything. I'm Lisa. This is Letting My Heart Take the Lead. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm glad you're here. If you have been with me for a little bit, I thank you for watching. So, um, I, I got to tell you a funny story from last night. Uh, th this actually kind of happened about uh, um, this morning, about five o'clock. So, um, one of my CNAs came and got me and she's like, um, you know, can you help me get, um, this little resonant up, <clears throat> um, she can be quite resistive at times, you know, and I said, oh yeah, sure. So w we go in there and, and like, you know, it's time to get up. We're going to get up. We're going to get dressed. Well, no, we weren't. We were not. <laughs> But we finally got the job done, and um, the resident has this little green teddy bear that is in her room, and um, she really likes to, you know, when she's sitting in her recliner to snuggle that and cuddle that, you know, kind of makes things better every now and then. So, you know, she was really quite irritated by the fact that we had gotten her up and gotten her changed and gotten her clothes on for the day and her hair brushed and everything. She was pretty irritated with us. So <clears throat> I go find the green bear and I bring it in and I said, look what I found. I found your green bear. And I set it in her lap, you know, where her hands were. And she picks it up and she looks at it. And then she looks at me and she said, have you ever seen a green bear? I said, <clears throat> well, this one's green. Maybe it's, you know, it's a St. Patty's Day bear. She said, there are no green bears. I mean, smile. And then she proceeded to look at me and said, you know, there's times where I say, that girl is really intelligent and bright. And then she looked square in my eyes and said, but I don't say that very often. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> Okay, gotcha. Well, moving on. <laughs> so, this girl that evidently is not so bright, come home and instead of going to bed, we're going to go through some more junk. <laughs> so, I, you know, I can sleep later. But, I'm kind of wound up, if you can't tell. I don't know why, but I am. I was kind of looking forward to coming home and I thought I'd come home sleep for a couple hours and then um maybe I could go outside and get some 
things done outside. But I think they're calling for storms today here, which could have been the factor in some of the behaviors we had last night with storm coming in. So, um, anyway, I thought, well, I'm just going to come home, <clears throat> do my haul video because we've still got so much stuff to go through that, um, I'm just going to keep on keeping on with these. Maybe then I'll nap, kind of see what the weather's doing, go from there. So, and I need to go down and get something out of the deep freeze to fix for supper. Hadn't even thought of that. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you, I think, is simply adorable. It has a sticker on the bottom, but without my magnifying glass. <laughs> I can't read what it says other than made in Japan. I can't read the make the maker. And then it's got this number on it, but look at this. It's a little baby planner. Isn't that so cute? He's got his little jalopy. Teddy's driving it and then it looks like I don't know whether those are little bears our little kittens. I'm kind of afraid to say after the green bear deal. I just thought this was adorable, adorable, adorable. So I'm excited. It's been planted in. So I'm really excited on trying to get this cleaned up and get this um, listed because I think I could get like $20, $25 out of it. And um, I only give, I said about a quarter for it. So <clears throat> I'm excited about that. Um, then I've got, ooh, got to show you. This is very dirty. I ought to show you pictures of stuff. Um, do videos of things after I get them cleaned up. But this just works. I am thinking about doing like a What Sold Wednesday and doing a video and doing recapping for the week of what I sold on eBay. I don't know. I'm throwing it out there. Um, and I got this, this neat, this is an ashtray. It's pretty good size. It's got these flowers in it. It's got gold around the edges. And this is marked um, Marshall Fields and Company. There on the back. It's got a sticker. So, um, I have not... I don't feel any um, chips or anything. I don't see any cracks. There's a little place right here I don't know whether I'd call it a chip though it's more kind of like where the paint has come off I don't know whether you can see it but anyway I have not sold ashtrays before but I know that there are several resellers out there that that um, sell ashtrays and do rather well with them so I don't know I'm gonna give it a shot and see and then I picked up these a little adorable things and I think that they're cats too I think um, there's a sticker on the bottom of one of these that says something I think it says Vad, uh, v a d a i, and then it says creator. I don't know. Let me get the camera to focus or not. But anyhow, they're wooden and they're little salt and pepper shakers, and they're painted. Aren't those adorable? 
I just think they are. So I'm assuming, yep, that the tops twist off to fill them. Oh, that was the pepper one. So if I start sneezing, you'll know why. But I just thought they were so cute. So adorable. So I'm going to try those. I don't know. Salt and pepper shakers don't go for a whole lot. Um... I don't know. I'm hoping maybe that I could get 10 or $15 out of them. So we'll see. This cow is absolutely filthy. He's been out wallering in the mud, but it's a little cow creamer. I'll show you this side because this side doesn't have as much. I'll show you the other side too. But see, it's a little cow creamer. He's got a hole. See, he's got a hole there. His tail is the handle. And then you would pour out like this. Look at the other side of him. Ah, that's not paint. <laughs> that is dirt. So, yeah, he's got to be, go through a heavy duty wash and grooming before we can list him. I have a couple other cow creamers and I believe that I have one up in my eBay store right now. Um, and I can't remember what I have on it. Um, so, there you have it. I'm just not real sure. And then I found this little figurine. It's marked hand painted in Japan on the bottom. Um, just a little girl with her basket. Her tiny little shoes poking out. <laughs> She's in really good shape and the colors are really vibrant still. So, um, I'll list her probably, I would say between 10 and $12. Um, would be all that I would get for her. Sorry, I keep reaching down on my box. Um, then I got this plate. It's uh, and it's got tape around it. It's got a plate rack tape to it. Um, it's got a sticker on it. You can't. see the whole picture but it's got this it says is it they well I don't know they well it's a picture he's planting his feet though horses he's not going any further but this is like um Feels like ironstone. The plate does. That reminds me of that. I don't know. But um, I thought it was cute, and I didn't want it to go get broken and go to the dump. As such, so much does. Then I got this pink bracelet. I do do pretty well with vintage jewelry. Um, on eBay. So this is a pink vintage plastic bracelet. Needs cleaned up. But um, I would say probably $15. I would say What else do we have? Some of this stuff must have been like in a thrift store because it's got tags, price tags 
on it. I yeah. That one I'm going to have to soak off. But this is like, um, the outside rim of it is metal. This is metal. And then it's got this plate, like, inside of it. See, that's that sticker I'm talking about. It, should, it must have been, like, in a thrift store or something. But it says, um, surrender... Surrender of I can't make that out. Cornwall or corn 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 wa water? I don't you can tell I'm terrible at history. I probably should know this, shouldn't I? But I don't. So there you have it. My son-in-law, Billy, he probably could tell me because he loves history. Um, John Trumbut? I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research on that. This play, I absolutely love it. I don't know whether I can let it go or not. <sighs> decisions, decisions. This would be so cute in an autumn display. So cute. Look at it. I love it in a fall display. <sighs> that would be so cute. And it's got a hanger. You could hang it. Or you could just put it like in at the back of a shelf for um, you know background. But it says um, handmade in Rhodes, Greece, and then it's got the pottery place. But I love I love that. Mm -hmm. I may have to. Mm -hmm. You you gotta you, hey you gotta give it to me. I'm doing better than what I was yesterday about saying I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this. I'm keeping this because so far this has been the only thing that I said I was gonna keep. Oh, and then yesterday <laughs> I don't know what happened, but anyhow I started to show you at the very end of the video these little jello molds and I I don't know whether it got on there or not how cute are these they're little individual serving things I got these with the idea of they do those um, little scenes in them like I was telling you about these are real popular for that. They, um, little tart tins or these little jello molds, you know, to put those little scenes in. And when I picked these up, I thought that's, you know, that's what I had in mind. But the more I think about it, I think how cool are these things? And the grandkids would absolutely love these. They would love their jello made in a mold like this. How wiggly and jiggly fun would that be? So, I don't know whether... I may have to find me some more to do crafting with because... Mm, I kind of got my heart set on making some jello in those. Okay, and then it must have been an ashtray box because... I picked this up just simply because... <laughs> it's kind of neat. I don't know. It's an ashtray, but it's got this beanbag bottom to it. And it looks like a little gravel in there. You can kind of see 
but it's kind of this the ashtray is kind of an amber color and then it's got a rose in the middle of it it's very dirty but um so i have no idea on this i'm kind of hoping maybe 15 20 dollars but um i'm not real sure and then I've got this little puppy dog that's marked Japan on his paw. How cute is he? Little vintage playful puppy. He's so cute. He's got such a happy little face. I just love him. And then I got him a playmate. She looks kind of sassy little cat and it's marked japan on the bot the back but she's like here i am but i really liked her so they're gonna sit there and keep each other company okay so something else that i got that i thought the grandkids would love Um, sorry, I was getting a text. I was trying to see whether it's something I needed to answer right away. Um, I found some of these previously, and I don't know whether I ever did a haul video. But if the grandkids are here, we are going to have so much fun in the kitchen. So much fun. And one of my grand, little grandkids, Dallas, um, she loves to be in the kitchen. And she is so creative. She's all the time getting them little snacks together. She makes the, you know, slicing cucumbers, putting ranch dressing on, and decorating their plate, you know. So between these jello molds, and these parfait glasses from Tupperware. We're going to have a good time. A fun time in the kitchen. These have bases that they snap down into. Little round bases. I just don't know where they are in this box right at the moment. But anyway. Previously I found like four of these. That. And like I said I don't know whether I did a haul video or not. But the other day. I don't know whether it was last weekend or the weekend before, I found um, three more. So I was like really excited about finding a few more of them. So let's see what else. Oh, this I just got because, um, like I said, it's <clears throat> he charges me by the box. And... Um, Things come out to be so cheap, you know, 25 cents, 10 cents. Um, but this is a an old bag of safety pins. And it's got a thimble in it. And I love to sew. So, um, yeah. I'll probably... Be. And you can always use, you know, you're always on the hunt for a safety pin. So... I threw those in my box. And, okay, these are really dirty. I don't know whether they're going to come clean. Oh, you know what? I may have got... Oh, here's the bases. To the Jello Parfait. Parfait glasses, aren't they? Oops. So excited. Um, now that I get the looking at the, I picked these up and I thought maybe I could soak them clean with the baby OxyClean. But I don't know, guys. It's kind of a polyester material. 
is pretty dirty. But this one, now that I get looking at it, is in not that great of shape. It's kind of, it's got a couple little places around the edge. So I don't know what I'll do with those. Oh, and then I picked up, now that I, oh gosh, guys. I really wish I hadn't done this. Okay, so. I'm probably jinxing myself by even talking about this. But. Okay, so, you know. A lot of people believe that in spirits and that spirits tend to attach themselves to objects that was important to them in their lifetime. I believe that because my grandfather that was a lay minister that would not have cussed a word in his life for anything was a very devout Christian very gentle loving man had an experience so that was enough that's enough for me to say that happens that's real but here while back I bring in a lot of antiques and a lot of vintage things into the home. Because I go to all these flea markets and auctions and everything. So, this was early morning. I was getting ready to run out the door. You guys know, if I'm around, there's usually a Diet Mountain Dew not too far from me. So, um... I thought, oh, I got, I'm got. i going to grab me a soda out of the refrigerator before I hit the road. So, uh, I went, came through the kitchen and started to open the refrigerator door. And I hear this woman's voice. And she says, like, she's surprised to see me. But yet, she's wel welcoming me. She's surprised but glad. She says, hello. Like, you know, there you are. I wasn't expecting you, but come on in. Hmm. Plain as day. I was the only one in the house. Needless to say, I grabbed my Diet Mountain Dew and I left. I've not heard anything since then. That's the only time I've heard her voice. But there was one night that we were sitting and watching TV. And usually I do the dishes right after I right after I clean the table off, you know, from supper. But that night there was something on. And so we were like, I said, I'm going to sit down for a little bit. Watch this before I do the dishes. The whole, t our kitchen, our dining room and um, like great room and our kitchen is kind of an open space, you know, kind of that open concept. So we sat down, was watching TV the whole time that we were watching TV. The dishes were clanking around and rattling around. I mean, it sounded exactly like somebody was in my kitchen doing my dishes. And so there's been a couple different things. I picked up this picture because, you know, people are always looking for stuff to put in junk journals and um, all that that's real popular right now. And I kind of wish that I hadn't because it's kind of, I opened this up and it's really creeping me out. And I don't know whether I can keep a hold of this or whether it's going to have to go bye-bye because I'm just, oh, look Oh my gosh, I can't even. Mmm. Do you see those eyes? 
Look at that. Oh my gosh. I can't. I can't do it. Mm. I don't feel good juju coming from that. Mm -mm. No way. I'm going to have to get rid of that. Oh. Guys, that's awful. Okay, I can't. I, I just... Mm. That, that just... That's it for today, folks. I I got to do something with that. I ooh, that just completely weirded me out. Okay, so um, we're half an hour in anyway. It's time to say goodbye. Um, I'll let you know in the next video what I do with this. But yeah, ah, mm, okay, it's not staying with me. All right. Um, Stay safe, be good, be wonderful, be kind. <laughs> Bye.